Here's a great drill that's going to get you an effortless golf swing super fast. So I call this baseball to golf. So I literally thought of this last week. I uh, had a lady out, you know, she was, you know, she was getting it, but I just thought, hey, you know what? Maybe we'll give this a try. She had mentioned that she had played some softball when she was younger. So she understood the concept or the, you know, how to hit a baseball, okay? So baseball, we're right here. We're looking at the pitcher. The pitcher is going to throw the ball in. You're going like this, swinging the bat kind of back and forth, and then you're ready to hit your baseball. Now, I did a tip not too long ago about this very same thing. I'm telling you, if you go like this, ready to hit a baseball, the weight will be loaded on your back foot, your arms will be like jello, and your wrists will be loose. And I don't have to say one word about it. Even if you have never played baseball in your life, imagine it's a stick and someone's gonna throw a ball at you, okay? I guarantee you would not go like this and be all locked up and lean that way. You would never do that because you wouldn't even see the person throwing the object at you. So you'd go like this. As soon as you do that, the weight's on your back foot. Your arms are totally relaxed. Wrists are super loose. All right, so she knew that. She had played baseball. So first off, I acted like I was the pitcher. I stood there and got her to go like this a few times. Okay, so she went back like that. Sure enough, weight was here, arms were very relaxed, wrists were super loose. Okay, but that's baseball. Golf is a little different. In golf, instead of looking at the pitcher, I have to look at the ball. So, in golf, I'm coiled a little more, and then my arm isn't as bent. It's a little more extended. My wrists are still loose, my weight's still loaded. Okay, so a lot of similarities there. So I just thought to myself, well, you know, she kind of knows the baseball thing. Why don't we start with baseball and then go to golf? So this is what I did. I had her go like this and get ready to hit the ball. Okay, so she did her golf setup. Then she looked that way like she was looking at the baseball pitcher throwing the ball at her. So we went like this. She looked at the pitcher, took it back, then looked at the ball and made her golf swing. So after she did this for literally ball one and then numerous balls after that, totally loosened up and started making some really good swings at it. So by doing this, by looking at, or sorry, starting for baseball, looking at the pitcher and then looking at the ball, you are not getting ball bound sitting there thinking like this i'm gonna hit that thing i'm gonna hit it as hard as i can yeah if you're looking over there you're not even looking at this ball so that takes the whole ball and hitting out of the pitcher and like i said if you went like this with a bat and a baseball when you did this just give it a try act like it's a baseball bat go like this have your friends stand there or just imagine there's somebody throwing a ball at you. I guarantee as soon as you go like this, the weight will be on this foot. Your arms will be like jello and your wrists are loose, which is what I want you to have in your golf swing to get an effortless golf swing. Those are the elements right there. But we don't have to look at the pitcher in golf. So if you think like that and you do that, well, you're not going to be sitting here going, oh, I'm going to hit that thing as hard as I can. So we're looking there. Okay, there it is. I'm telling you, as soon as you look there, your arms will totally drain. So you won't even have your arms all locked up. So you look over there, then you look at the ball, and then hit the ball. Okay, super easy. You could do that with driver even. Go like this, same exact thing, okay? Same thing. We, I would do a few baseball back swings, driver, everybody wants to, you know, hit it as hard as they can instead of doing an effortless golf swing. So do a few warm ups. act like it's a baseball bat. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna hit a baseball, okay? So now you're loosened up. 
get ready with your setup like this. We're going to look at the pitcher, then the ball, then we're going to hit our ball. Okay, super simple drill. I literally thought of that last week. You know, I've only tried it on her. I think I actually tried it on her husband as well, and it worked with him as well. So that's a good little drill you can be doing. Remember, everybody keeps thinking about the ball. It's human nature to hit the object sitting in front of you. So this ball there, your mind is saying, I'm going to hit that thing, and I'm going to hit it as hard as I can. Yeah, I'm not hitting anything. Because I trained myself to not do that to get an effortless golf swing. So if this is a drill that could help you out, give it a try. I would tee up your iron, you know, just make it a little bit easier. But I'm telling you, worked for her and I know it'll work for you too. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's going to help you improve your swing. Now right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm going to send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.